Hey folks, it's Shane from Performance EV. Today we're back working on our battery box. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, welcome to our first real video of 2021. Uh, for those of you new to this channel, this is m my space on YouTube where I convert interesting cars to run on electricity. And this is my Porsche 911 that I'm converting to run uh, with a Nissan Leaf mode. So we're back working on the EV components of the car. Um, the end of last year, I was doing a lot of work on the suspension, but now we're back working on the electric bits. So want to put the battery in the back of the car here and in order to do that we need to use the bat need to build a battery box now i made a decision design decision quite a few months ago that i was going to try and reuse as much of the leaf battery box so as it was used to hold the battery in the leaf uh but reformat it to to fit into this car um i'll admit i'm kind of regretting that decision but i am going to persevere um, I think I've had to over-engineer it in order to make sure that it's secure and a better long-term solution, I think, would be to build a battery box from scratch. And I might still do that, but in the interest of getting this car on the road, we're going to continue with the work I've done. So yeah, let's get to it. This here is going to be what um, where the battery fits in. Obviously, this we're reusing the piece from the, the leaf, and that was designed to bolt up under the car through some, some mountings on the side, which are of absolutely no use to us. So what we've done, as we saw in a previous video, excuse the noise, is we created this frame that we could attach this um, piece to. And basically this will get bolted into the car and the rest of the battery box will connect to it. So that means we'll have uh, you know, a decent connection from the base that the battery sits on up into the car. And the, the main contact points, it's not going to be here because this is really light metal. It's going to be here at the sides. Um, so into these, what are effectively the, the rails, the frame of the, the battery box, we'll be bolting into that and we'll also use... Um, We'll also weld a plate on the front, which can uh, tie into to points here and you know give us a, a decent multi-point uh, connection. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where the bolt holes. So I'm going to probably do two of them at about this height, and that will allow us to um, to come in and bolt into into this piece here. here is just weld that uh, nut in place so that then we only have to worry about the bolt when, um, when bolting these into place. So there we go we've got our two threaded holes. So we're going to go with the same process over here on the other side. So we 
we've got both sides securely bolted in um, and actually it's made the the entire thing extremely rigid uh, which is great but I'm not I'm not 100% happy with how this holds in basically these uh, these bolts are really strong um, very very high tensile so nothing's going to break them but I'm a bit worried that if the wrong sort of force is going through this while this piece is securely mounted to the car that um, there's a chance it could tear through this metal it's not it's not the thinnest of metal but it's not the thickest either um, you know I've, I've seen slightly thinner on some bodywork but it is basically just kind of the type of sheet metal you see on the side of a car and yeah with the wrong type of force you know there's going to be 200 kilos inside this thing it could pull it out so I want to put a bit of plate um, well something a bit stronger than plate even in through here um, to to do two things one is to hold the um, you know to, to make sure that the the load is spread a much wider over this but I also want to kind of add an extra couple of points of connectivity between um, the bolts going through here and hence this and this thicker part of the frame so yeah um, I'll show you what I'm going to do so I've got here is some 60 by 30 mil box rectangular box steel um, 3 mil thick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it so that I can slot it in here basically this way um, and that will give us this nice big edge as essentially spreading the load um, onto the thinner metal and will also give us a couple of contact points up into the, the frame itself. So we'll do some measurements, get a, an initial piece cut out and then um, adjust it. Here's the part that we've made to fit into the slots on either side um, to try and just spread the load across this face and also spread some of the weight onto the the rail directly um, so basically this will slot in here like that now obviously there's a challenge in that we need to to run the bolts through this um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically We've lined it up, kind of found the, the center of the hole. So I'll drill through these um, and out the other side. And what I want to do then is basically to reinforce it a bit because if, if I've drilled it out and then we kind of are tightening the bolt through here, um, there's every chance we could end up compressing this if we, you know, if I use too much torque and that would, um, you know, potentially just screw things up and the fit and everything a bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in the middle let me show you on the one I've just finished so here we've got the two versions so this one's now finished I've drilled through but what I've also done is I've welded a um, piece of uh, tube in the middle so the diameter of the the outer of the inner hole is um, exactly just the right size to fit the bolt and then there's an extra couple of millimetres around the outside which I've drilled out and then welded in. I'll show you in detail on this one. So first we'll drill out a couple of pilot holes. So we've got this drilled out so it's 10 mil on one side for the bolt and then 14 mil on the other side for the pipe or tube so we slot that in you see that'll go in there gets welded into place um, and then the bolt goes the whole way through it so there we go we've got our inserts cut out 
just get them lined up and then weld them into place. So what I was just creating there is basically a couple of plates um, that are going to be used to tie everything together at the front here. So I was going to have to cap this off anyway, but I decided to make the piece of metal a little bit bigger so it'll cover both the, um, the frame rail here, the piece that I'm going to have inside the frame rail, as well as the new part that I've created to come up here and the piece going across so it'll bolt into the two the new bits of metal and then be welded onto the frame and the piece inside the frame and that'll then give us a good solid connection all the way around okay so we've fabricated our key pieces for this so this is our kind of uh, mounting piece that slots in there like that and then we've built this piece here not really built I drilled some holes in a bit of sheet metal uh, thick metal though um, to go on like this and basically what I'm going to do is a puddle weld in through here to connect those two that will then hold everything in place and then we'll place our main mount here and drill holes into it Our plates with the holes in them welded and securely fastened into the rails here so what I'm going to do now is put the the main bar across here make sure the holes still line up um, and then we've drilled some holes in that bar and we're going to put some uh, inserts through them weld them in and that should then allow us for a nice solid connection uh, between everything So you can see here um, a bit more clearly in daylight what we've done. So we've got the posts I created with the holes all the way through it into the, the main upright support. Um, and that's providing uh, you know, a level of connectivity between what's here and into the frame rails beyond just the, the thin metal that goes between the two. Um, then I've also welded this plate to the, the frame rail or to the, the post that goes in, inside the frame rail um, to provide an extra level of connectivity and then I'll ultimately weld these seams as well and put a metal plate welded over this which will provide an extra level of con connectivity between this which is connected to that and the frame rail so that should move our support um, you know should support things pretty well then on the inside here you can see where we've bolted our um, bars, so the upright main upright support bar and then the crossbar, um, bolted it to this plate so that there's an extra level of support between the the main weight bearing structure and what's providing some rigidity for the whole um, unit, and that also then connects into the frame. So that's kind of tying everything together. And I'm gonna it's a bit square and rectangular, or a bit rectangular at the moment, but I'm gonna neaten that up, uh, make it a little bit more attractive and of course it will be painted as well and then around the back here you can see the bolts coming through and that's just tying everything together um, I had to cut them off because the only ones I had were a bit too long and would have actually touched the battery which we would not want so now that that's properly secure we can actually go and start figuring out what I need to connect to the main Porsche rails here in order to bolt this in place um, you know I, I did some marking previously just to get a vague idea but that that was when things could still move and shift. This is really secure now, so I know everything is um, basically where it's going to be, which means then I can place this, uh, the, the mounting on the, the frame rail in exactly the right place. Alright, 
so what we're doing here is basically just um, bolting the pieces of metal that are make, going to make the core of my mounts to um, the, the uprights here so I can actually figure out exactly how to build them out with the additional um, support. So for example on this one I've got a, a straight cut along there at the moment but actually I need to, it needs to be a bit more of an angle with less here compared to there so it can fit flush to the um, to the upright and then we'll obviously tidy things up um, once we've got it in place. Now we've also got I guess a, a plate going down here which is going to form again the core of the the kind of rear support um, bolting into some existing mounting holes on the back of the the leaf pack and as luck would have it um, there is actually at least on this side anyway uh, a hole through the frame already on the lower side um, right where I want it to be because that's where I want to run a bolt all the way up through the frame similar thing to what we've done in here running a, a metal tube through the middle and welding it in place so we don't crush the frame um, but that's half the work done well no nah, it's only about 10 percent of the work done um, but that will actually ultimately i'll have a proper one of these but that will ultimately be connected to the the mount there and that'll give us a nice secure connection so that's where we're going to leave it for today uh the light's fading pretty quickly and I really don't want to have to rush this. Um, you know, th there's things on this car or on any car project where you can just fly through them, gets dark, it's not the end of the world, but this really does require precision. I need it to be perfectly mounted and balanced and in the right place in the car. Um, so there's a lot of precision measurement and that that needs to happen before we can actually, um, you know, start to build out the mounts. But I'm really happy with the progress made this week, um, getting that mount between, or the connection, between the frame that I built and the, the battery box space, um, secure and solid and able to hold the weight of the battery has been really important. It's kind of been sitting over me for a while. So I'm glad to have that done and I'm happy with the outcome there. Now we just need to try and replicate the same kind of secure connection between that frame that I've built and the car itself. But we'll we'll get into that next week. But yeah, I hope you, you've enjoyed uh, the work that we've been doing here and you know if you're not already subscribed please and you like this sort of thing please consider subscribing um you know click the the bell icon if you want to be notified uh, of any new content um and as always likes and comments are very much appreciated um i hope you've enjoyed this this little video and thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time